Continente africano. Pueblo. Ambororo. Nombre. Hindú Maru Ibrahim. Hi everyone. My name is Hindu Umaru Ibrahim. I am an indigenous woman from Bororo people in Chad. My people are nomadic and semi-nomadic, living across Chad, Cameroon, Niger, Nigeria, Central African Republic, and Sudan. It used to be all our land before the colonizations come and they cut it into the pieces. I do have my own family, my own relative, cousins who are having the different nationality of those countries. I am one of the chair of a UN Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues. I have been elected for this year's sessions at the Permanent Forum as the chair. And to live in harmony with the nature, we need also certain principles. In my people, we have the principles that is called pulaku. So pulaku is the art of living, is the way of living that is passed through generation since centuries. If they wanted to hurt you, they can say you do not have a pulaku. For an indigenous person coming from my people, when they say you do not have pulaku, that means you are no one. So you have to have the plaque. You have to grow up with the principles and respect those principles. So the seven principles, one of them, the basic one, and who is the most important, it is called semtende. Semtende, it means you have to be a reserved person. The word is also can be confused with shame. You cannot put shame in someone. You cannot tell someone that something in public that will make him shameful. You have to be a person who is reserved, the person who is positive, who cannot hurt someone else. Then you can say the person do have the plaque. The second, who is also uh, include the de itande. So the ere or the itande. So if someone wanted just to tell you, you are really de udo. When they say you are de udo, so that's demonstrated you are calm, you are majestuous. And you have to be a majestuous person if you are a, someone coming from my people. So you say you have to be de ingal. So the third one, it is totare. So lautare is the uh, is the principles of submission. So it's not like submissions to someone. You have to be submitted to your elders. You have to respect your elders. You have to respect your husband. You have to respect your father. You have to respect your mother, your mother-in-law. You have to respect all the elders or all the peoples around you. If you do not have respect, that means you do not have Polaku and you cannot be from this community. The fourth one, it is Hakilo. Hakilo, it means intelligence. It is mean also you have to be very uh, wise. So intelligence, it is part of us. And if you are intelligent, you have to listen. You have to listen from your elders. You have to listen from the knowledge holders. You have to listen from everyone. Then you have to accumulate those kind of knowledge. Then you have the pulako. The, the fifth one, it is yoyere. So a true person have to get a yoyere. So you cannot be cheated by someone. So you have really to be wise. You have to look at around. You cannot take a decisions just to like that. The worst thing they can tell you, you say, no, you don't have the hat kilo or you don't have the yoire. So then you do have to get this yoire. And then the, uh, the last one, you have to get a, the other one, you have to get the, uh, the way of passions. So munyan. Munyal, it is one of the seven who is the very important. You can translate that as passions or you can translate that as endurance. 
So you have to agree on all what is happening. You have to look for the solutions always. You will never say you end it all what you are do doing. So you have to do all the solutions that is coming. And then you have to be patient to build the solutions. Sorry, this is the sixth one. So the seventh one is Pernde. And Pernde, it means you have to get like a big heart. You have to share everything that you have. And you have to be yourself. You cannot be dependent from someone else. You have to be the person who can take everything yourself, build your own way, and do not just accept to be under someone down. You have to build your own solutions. So those are the seven principles that we have to learn when we are child. So your mom can tell you, Munu, uh, uh, your mom can tell you, what do kilo? Your mom can tell you what is semtende, or your mom can tell you what do yoire, what do perde. So then you have all the principles of the plaku you grow up with, and when you grow up with, you will never break your relationship with your community. You will never break your relationship with the nature. You will always respect all the human being. Always respect the plant, the trees, the little insect, the bigger elephant or the powerful lion. And you always will know how you can live in harmony with the rest of the species of the nature. And this is the principles of my people. And this is the principles that pass it over the seven generation. That means you have to learn from your seven past generation and you have to take the decision based on the seven upcoming generation. It is not about 100 years. It is about 700 years where the peoples are living. So your impact of today has to be mitigated to do not hurt anyone for the next coming seven generation. So this is the final uh, teaching from my community that we are growing up with. And this is what also I try to bring at the international level when we talk about the negotiation, when we talk about protecting our planet and protecting our people. And thank you so much for listening.